Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing a bit more Brotato, which is still an early access. Um, I've actually played <laughs> quite a lot of it since my last video. Um, probably about six or seven hours. Uh, I've won a few runs. Um, you can see with these light grey characters, the ones I've won on the easiest setting, then I won this on the second setting up. Unlocked a few new characters, as you can see, so I thought I'd... Um, yeah, do another video on it as I'm as I'm playing it so much. Maybe I'll try characters I haven't I haven't tried yet. So I've won with one called the Bull, which I thought was really fun. Basically, every time you take damage, you explode and kill enemies with the explosions around you. Um, I may show that on on this video, but I thought I'd, I'd try one I haven't really tried before yet. Um, what one sounds interesting? Gladiator's possible. So you start off with minus 40% attack speed, but once you've equipped three weapons, you're in positive attack speed at that point. Uh, so if you've got six weapons, that's what? Plus 80% attack speed, which feels pretty good. I mean, luck's bad. I'd, I'll try and boost that luck because it kind of affects the quality of the um, upgrades that you get offered. So what weapon should we start with? Um... Axe is quite good, because the more enemies you kill with it, um, for every 20 enemies during a wave, you'll get 1% damage, which which seems pretty good. I mean, with this one, plus one attack speed. I mean, maybe that's a better one. Maybe that sort of lean into our, our... I found that the most successful runs I've done are the ones where you lean into your sort of character. So this one's based around attack speed, isn't it? So let's do this. I'll do it on the easiest one, because I'd like to get to the end if I can. There's a little gladiator. Um, so obviously he's got it. He's much slower in attack to begin with. It'll be that. It'll be like that until we've equipped a few weapons. So I might even buy like a few cheap weapons at the beginning. <clears throat> and this is a melee only character, so that's something to bear in mind also. So what have we got in terms of the up, uh, level up? Um, life steal, harvesting. I get a life steal. So we could get another. We could get. So we could upgrade our flint, uh, which probably is quite a good idea. Because at that point, you only need you get upgrade for every eighteen you kill. So that's quite a good one to do. Um, I might do the axe as well. So the mo So now we're starting with um, like a, a zero percent attack speed because we, we've we've got rid of the minus forty that we start with. So that's quite good already. I just completed a bull run, the one where you sort of uh, run into enemies to destroy them. Basically, you basically headbutt enemies to death with explosions. It's 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 quite fun, um, but I'm gonna need to kind of get out the mindset of running towards enemies again. I think. Um, oh, let's take the let's take the attack speed. Let's really lean into that. Um, let's take another ghost axe and upgrade that, and I'll also buy another ghost flint. So hopefully our attack speed will 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 go up. It should already be at plus twenty percent. So if we can keep killing enemies with those flints, that'll keep get that'll keep upgrading. Okay. Another upgrade. Yeah, let's let's get the luck upgraded a bit because that you want that to be reasonable. I find. Um, yeah, all right, let's, let's spawn landmines. Um, let's get more trees. It means more healing and more um, item crates as well. In fact. Kind of kill off the ranged enemies as quickly as I can because I find that I, I find it quite hard to avoid the projectiles. Like my, my eyes are sort of drawn to other things and tend to get hit quite a lot with them. But well, not so much. At, well, even then, and again, and then. So not so much in the early levels when it's not so crowded, but later on. Got two levels on this one. 
So melee damage sounds... Uh, mm, yeah, melee damage sounds alright. Um, of these, HP. I know you can re-roll, but I d I'll do that at some point when we we're getting more money in. But we'll take a lightning shiv. Take a wrench as well, actually. Because we'll get a little turret then. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it at that. So we should be on um, plus 80 attacking speed now. I think of the first video, I died in wave 14 of that run. And it, I've sort of since felt that wave 14 is actually probably the hardest wave. <laughs> It's when things start to get really crazy, especially with projectiles, and that, that's what tends to f finish me up. I tend to find that if I can get through wave 14, I can generally at least get to the final wave, generally speaking. I probably, I probably won't now. Um, but that's, that's what I've found so far, anyway. Okay, we've actually got... This all brings to negative 5 luck, but we're getting closer to being positive luck. Um, another wrench, we'll level that up. And I think also in my last video, I, I said that you need to... I found that you had to keep a, a weapon slot free to sort of upgrade your weapons with, with ones like we just did with our black wrench. That's actually incorrect. For instance, uh, I just upgraded that with another black wrench, but you can only upgrade with weapons of the same tier, so colour. Um, so if I found another blue uh, flint, I'd be able to upgrade this one, or a black flint, I'd be able to upgrade this one, but a black flint would not be able to upgrade this blue tier 2 one here. So, so yeah, I've learned a, a few little things like that as we've gone. I might re-roll this. Uh... Yeah, so, if, so exactly. So I wouldn't be able to upgrade this screwdriver because this is a tier 1 weapon. This is a tier 2 weapon. So I can't use that to upgrade this. Um, I might take this. I don't actually have any HP regeneration at the moment. So that might not be a bad one. I feel like with this character I'm probably going to want quite high HP and armor if I can get it. Armor or dodge. I, I think... Either is good, but really you want to sort of pick one and specialise in it. Being a sort of a jack of all trades is not as good as sort of specialising in an area, I find. I think with the character the ghost, um, you start with the 30% dodge value. But it's capped at a maximum of 90. And I did, I did actually get it to 90 dodge on that character for the final wave. And it was great. Just that I pretty much just avoided all damage. Um, I think that means you can't crit. So I'm going to... No. Should we go positive? Let's actually go positive luck. <laughs> I probably won't buff that anymore. But I just didn't want it so negative. Might be good. We don't need ranged because we're a melee character. Our attack speed is already 72. I thought it would be 80. So 20, 20, 20. Yeah, it should be 80, right? For every different weapon you have. So yeah, so this flint doesn't count, does it? Yeah. I should do a little re-roll on that. I can actually... Oh. What I might do then is lock that to upgrade next time, but I'll... I've locked that. Now I'm going to buy that. So I've got two blue ones now, so I can actually combine those into a purple one, uh, which is quite good. I could actually add that plank. Let's do that. So by locking that axe, it means that it, it, it'll still be there in the next uh, shop screen. So I can't frown it down. Depending on how long this run takes, I might do two in this video. Um, but if it 
If it goes all, if it goes the distance, it might just be this one. So they can go on long. I know Vampire Survivors is capped to, to half an hour. Um, I think these can run longer. Range damage crit. Definitely not the range damage. Let's re roll. I oh, don't really like those either. Uh, we, could we could take the attack speed, but I might take the health regen because that is good. So let's buy that. And we've got a purple axe now. I think what I'll do is get the flaming brass knuckles. Maybe I'll lose. I quite like these. So I might lose the landmines. I'll get the brass knuckles. Yeah, these brutes that charge at you are horrible. They get sort of like an elite version in the later waves and it can absolutely wreck you. Is that? Is that one that's got lots of resources? Oh, it's got a crate. Oh, 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 getting low on health. I don't really have any passive healing on this character. Look, this of health come in there. Uh, I'm going to say no to this. It looks good on paper, but adding more enemies is actually bad because I think it scales. Um, so it makes it much harder later on. Do I take another one of those? I mean, yeah, I'm halving my HP regeneration, but two is nothing anyway. We can add four just there. I think I will. Mm, don't know about the pruner. I quite like the rabbit. Get a free reroll. Let's use that now. Oh, that's good. We can upgrade that to a purple. Life still and regen. It's not too bad. Um, I'm already on minus one armor. I want to be. I guess I'm leaning into the dodge then, aren't I? So actually, maybe we should do this. Get some more attack damage. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that food as I didn't need it. But it's kind of hardwired into me to pick up something if it drops. There's quite a lot of healing items around there. bad. So what could we do? An HP regen of those probably. I do get another one. Um, we, get, we could do more attack speed. Yeah, let's do that. And that's what our character is all about, isn't it? So That might be quite good for us. The elemental damage too, because it's not this sort of thing ties into that. Get a free reroll. Damage and lifestyle. I think I will take that. Can I get the med bot as well? I can. That's good. Let's do that. Let's do that. I could. I might boost my luck as well. It'd be nice to get some higher level stuff coming in. I've got a little teddy bear mouth now. I wonder how high I can get my attack speed. And I think it I think it's like, you know, infinite. It's a question of how high can I get it in this run. Nice. 
Because like with the high enough attack speed, you can pretty much just almost walk through waves. Well, so the question is, are you doing enough damage to kill things then? So that's quite a big consideration, admittedly. So the basic mobs, I think you can pretty much walk through. Piggy bank. 20% of your materials at the start of waves, plus 20% at the start of waves. Well, I guess. I don't quite get how that works. Let's re-roll. Elemental damage. Mm. Let's do another re-roll. One more. Uh, maybe I'll take the purple life steal. Oh, we got another one. Um, okay, but let's do the melee damage then. Okay, this is good. So, I think we'll sell this and then take the purple version. Do I take a purple hammer? Probably over this. Ah, I can't afford it yet. So, let's lock that and we'll just go in with five weapons into the next wave. Actually, let's just take that. It's sort of like a buzzsaw you can get that heals you as you use it. It's got um, good life steal on it. But hopefully that will come up. I would like that. I think healing is going to be a major consideration in the later waves. That little healing turret's going to be good. Lose damage. I don't really want to lose damage, so I'll recycle that. Purple life steal. Yeah, okay. This is probably not a bad one for us, because we're doing trying to look at dodge rather than damage. Sorry, da rather than armor. Good chances are massive, but that could be an interesting one. Can I afford these all? Let's take this. Uh, let's recycle the hand for that. Not quite, so let's actually lock that so it comes up again next time. Try to be better about leaving the healing fruit behind if I don't need it. When things start to get crazy, I don't always see them on the ground before I pick them up. <laughs> dive into people at the end there, but luckily we survived. Um, well, armor's not for us, is it? Um, but maybe the max HP, it's quite a big upgrade. I might take that. Let's re-roll. I quite like these. It's every three seconds. Wondering if I get rid of this at this point. I might do. I'm taking an exploding plank. I can't afford the alien eyes now, unfortunately. Let's lock them. I think the turrets can be good if you go if you boost your engineering because the engineering uh, 
which I've discovered what it does now. It, um, yeah, it boosts your turrets. There is a character called the Engineer. I, I quite like playing him. I find it quite a fun class, but I haven't actually got to the final wave of the yet. I just got overwhelmed, so I haven't quite figured out how to optimise that one yet. Yeah, these guys with the horns that charge in. You need... they hit really hard if they hit you. So you either need a lot of armour or a lot of regen. Or dodge. I haven't had a lot of dodge available yet. I might have to start picking more up. And maybe in the level ups, which I haven't got yet on this level. There we go. I'd like to try and get at least one level per wave, just to sort of stay on top of upgrading. Lose dodge for max HP. No, I'm actually going to recycle that. Speed's okay. I tend to maybe I undervalue speed, but so many stuff just runs at you. Um, so I might take the HP regen here. Okay. Well, I want to take the alien eyes. I'll take another tentacle because, again, I've got this limited thing. It's not stuff that you can fire off. It means how many you can pick up, and probably everyone but me understood that. So when you have five of these, you'll have a 15% crit chance and a 100% chance to heal an HP when killing an enemy with a crit. Uh, but so if I take that, I've now got 11% crit chance. Um, and I should, I think, have like a 40% chance to heal an HP. So it kind of stacks as far as I'm aware. We'll take damage at the cost of range. Let's uh, reroll. Hmm. I think probably attack speed again because... We're just... we're not doing armor at all. How much elemental damage are we doing? It's mainly this, isn't it? I think... Mm, I, I can't even afford it. That's okay. I hate these things. I was what is the dreaded Wave 14. The, those big things are the reason why Wave 14 is so bad. Um, because when you kill them, they split into three of these little... Um, ranged enemies and they're just horrible they're really quick they run away from you and they just do loads of damage if they hit <laughs> so i want to try and get those as soon as they appear really weapon crate. you actually don't need to pick up the weapon crates i'm pretty sure that they just uh, are given to you at the end of a wave if they're still on the map oh no no i took a heavy hit there no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. Lots of too many projectiles. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Ah, I took that right to the face. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, one second. Yeah, I don't know about that class. I mean, let's try a new rum. I might try to do the exact opposite now, which is the cyborg. I've actually played him a couple of times, but I haven't got very far with him. It sounds really good, though. You start with a minigun. Ranged mods, uh, so all the things you pick up that affect range are increased by 250%. I think it says 100% of your range damage is converted into engineering halfway through a wave. So it's a class that I guess is turrets are useful for. But engineering mods are reduced by 75%, and melee mods are reduced by 100%. And elemental... So he basically is guns. So I'm going to start with a minigun anyway. What else do I want? Uh, I might pair it with a shotgun. Now I've never, I've never, I think I've got to the final wave with this guy. But I've never made it all the way to the end of the run. So let's try and do that this time. So I think when the number goes blue at the top. I think that's when he's uh, ticked over into the boosting his engineering. What do we want? I think range damage would probably be good. Let's take it. So we get a bigger shotgun. And we get a shredder, which is very good as well. It's like an explosion thing. I actually might get this to boost explosion damage as well as a result of that. But let's combine those. And you actually get a purple minigun as well. It's a really good weapon. Like, it just carries you through these early waves completely. So 
I don't know quite why I failed with him so much. I need, maybe I wasn't boosting his defences enough. Making him too much of a glass cannon, possibly. I don't know whether it's better to take him into armour or dodge. I guess we'll see what we get offered. Um... Max HP, I might do that. So we can get a, per, a blue shredder gun. Let's do that. And we'll take the dynamite. Hmm, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Two levels on that one, that's nice. Uh, ranged could be quite good on him, actually. But maybe another ranged damage, because it affects... I mean, it sounds silly, but it it kind of it kind of scales with how much damage you're doing with this stuff. You see it says 50% uh, and that sort of ranged icon. Uh, that means it's, it adds damage to 50% of your ranged score. So this yeah, so that's kind of why you want to boost that. It, it's on top of the... General damage stat here, I think. Um, what do I want here? This one, probably, because it gives armor engineering. Let's try and do a more of an armor build. Um, and I can kind of offset that with getting a bit more HP there. Let's do that. In his early rounds, he just feels so strong as a character. Um, ugly tooth. take that damage elemental ranged or HP regen I feel like we do need some healing I'm gonna take the regen oh we get a purple shotgun very nice armor dodge that might be quite good actually but I need to save it for the next run next wave The minigun is very fast firing, but it doesn't do a huge amount of damage. So we need to bear that in mind when I'm picking other stuff. That's kind of why I picked the shotgun, I just thought something uh, slower firing but does more you know, damage. Well, we can boost our damage now. I'll, I'll definitely take that as a purple upgrade. Medical gun. Yep, we'll take that. Knockback might not be too bad either, just keep things off us a little bit. Let's take both those and go in. So again, the medical gun will do um, extra life steal, so it's, it's a good way to heal us. And I'll definitely take the healing buzzsaw if it, if it gets off it. Weirdly, I've never seen a minigun, an extra minigun in the shop to buy. I don't know if I have to finish a run with the cyborg first for that to happen. It's possible. I'd quite like to... There's a character you can... Um, the thing is, you can't. No, you can't throw weapons. You can actually carry 12 weapons, which is insane. So, if you could, like, take 12 miniguns or something, that'd be pretty good. Range. 
I might re-roll. So re-roll to get a blue. Back to the range. Okay, well it wants us to have range, doesn't it? Fine. Explosion damage. Yep. Yeah, let's actually counteract the range we've just picked up and get that, because um, it's quite a good boost to damage. Uh, kill trees easily? Okay. It's more healing items and stuff, so that's fine. Pick up some turrets as well if we're going to make the full use of his engineering boost in a way. Oh, another range. <sighs> Fine, I mean, it's a purple one. I tried to take the purple ones when I get off at them. Crit chance, okay. I'll take Dangerous Bunny for a free reroll. Take a plank. Maybe something melee wouldn't be the worst idea. Uh, I might lock those. I do like those. Uh, I want that as well, really. Yeah, I'll lock that too. Hopefully we can get both those in the next one. Boost armor or dodge particularly there, particularly yet. So I'm starting to feel quite glass cannon. It's always where my cyborg runs have fallen down. I don't know if different classes tend to get offered different types of upgrade or if it's completely random. See, nothing here about dodge or um, armor. Attack speed might be good though. I'll take that. What does it say? So engineering mods, melee mods, elemental damage mods. So yeah, the other stuff should be okay. Uh, so what can we take? I'll take that, we'll take that. I'll take the wand as well. Got the dodge, I might go for that. So at least our dodge is 12, but. Yeah, I might take that. It means less. we're gonna have less money, but. Um, I might get a second reroll, you know. Okay, we'll get that, get a purple one, that's fine. Dodge it for the one armor. 
Can't afford it, but maybe I will do that. Range damage, less range? Yeah, I think so. I think we, we can scale pretty well off the range damage. We want more of that, really. hang around our turrets when we switch to engineering mode. That can help us out. I've only really got that one at the moment. So I can't get into the middle where all these upgrade all these materials are. Huh. That tree. We took some damage right at the end there. I don't really want to lean into the engineering particularly because it's all our range damage is going to get converted to it anyway. Let's re-roll. We get a purple and something we want. Oh, I'll take some more crit chance, fine. Re-roll. More crit chance. Sure, why not? Let's just crit loads. Um, we'll get the purple medical gun. Faux show. Take that, boost the dodge. So 20% dodge now, so one in five hits we're actually evading. Very much feels like we start causing less damage on our guns when that flips to engineering. I think that's pretty much why my cyborg runs fail. I, don't, I mean, I'll take load, I'll take turrets if they're offered. I just don't feel like I've really been offered any yet apart from that one. Oh, I need more upgrades. Wheelbarrow harvesting for armor. Sure, I'll, we get more money for that. Should we do even more crit chance? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Um, so this is interesting. The scissors is another lifesteal weapon. This is a melee one. So maybe I'll get rid of this and take that. Got a couple of free rerolls. Let's see what comes up. Black belt. Lose luck. I don't really want to lose more luck. A free reroll. Shredder. Aha. It's a shame this one isn't a purple, so what we'll do, we'll just recycle it and buy that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Let's get towards wave 14 and I still feel like I don't have a lot of HP. Don't have a lot of healing. So if I get hit by one of those big guys, it could very much be run over right there and then. So I need to be wary of that. And at wave 14 we're gonna be hit by all those projectiles I can't avoid. We won't level up on this way. Yep, no level up, no items. It's a bit depressing. Do I get a third free reroll? I mean, maybe. I might sacrifice some of my range just for more overall damage. 
I've already got two free rerolls. I probably don't need three. Might get some landmines though. Oh, red medical gun. Don't mind if I do. Just do another one of these in case there's anything I want to lock. I'll probably lock in that glass cannon again because we're not really doing armor. Um, yeah, we'll leave it with that for now. I can't believe I've got so low HP. <laughs> See if we can get a couple of upgrades on this level. These guys can hit pretty hard as well. Big lance now with the horns. That's not great. Oh, there's another one. Pretty hard here. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think I think he did hit me actually. Fine. No, that's the wrong way around for us. HP, I'm gonna have to take HP, I think. Because we're just we're gonna die so much. <laughs> uh Minus 10% enemies is interesting on this. That might be good for us, actually. And get both of those. Get free rerolls. Let's just check them out in case there's anything we want to lock in for next time. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm going to try and get rid of the little ones that come out, out of those as soon as I can. Because if they build up, they're just crazy. As soon as I see them. Now uh, this turret's killing all of them all down here. Six seconds to get through. To level at least out to get him. Oh, I like I like the regen and I like the damage. Actually, my damage is at 55. Let's get the regen. We we need to be able to heal. Ooh, red shredder. Don't mind if I do. So. I think previously it's just been a chance of it projectiles exploding on hit, but now it's just they they explode, um, which is good. I don't know about this one, honestly. We reroll. This is really good for one of the characters that does exploding damage when they heal. Um, they've got really high HP regen, and when they, they you know they're basically doing exp AOE explosions around themselves every second, but not really losing HP. It's really good. Um, I mean, the difference between zero armor and minus one armor is, I'm sure, pretty limited, so let's just do that. A reroll. Mm, nothing there I want to lock in, I don't think. Actually, we'll lock in that for the dodge. Well, we got past the dreaded wave 14 anyway. So this one shouldn't be as bad. You still get those little ones that, that shoot bullets, but not as many, I don't think. going on, I, I struggle to avoid those projectiles. They kill me more often than anything else in this game. 
So, yeah, there's just so many of them. Oh god. I think it's gonna be over. If I get hit one more time, I think it's over. Ah, I hit twice more. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, well that's, um, yeah, so we haven't completed a run on this video, which I'm a bit sad about. I'll tell you what, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Who should I do? Maybe I'll do the engineer. I did mention him earlier, so let, let's try that again. I haven't finished a run with this guy. Um, well, let's take this. And we'll have a little turret. And we'll, have a, we'll have two turrets, actually. I think the key with this one is to boost engineering as much as possible but not ignoring his own defence because we are going to get swarmed see we've got two engineering there already so we'll take that could take a third <laughs> take a third wrench uh, I don't know what I might do it I might keep it as a basic turret for just for now or maybe we'll get one uh, incendiary turret and one, one not a bit not map. Not bad might be good too. I'll oh, we'll take a thief dagger too. So so look at our character. So we get ten engineering. All our engineering mods are increased by twenty five percent. Start with a wrench. And the structures group. The turrets group together so you can kind of get a bit of um sort of like a defensive perimeter going. But damage modifications are reduced, so we really are about getting our turrets working. Pretty much just sit here and just let the turrets do a lot of the work. I mean, obviously, I'm going to want to collect these materials as well. I mean, a blue HP regen is nothing to be sniffed at, so we will take that. Don't really like any of those. Let's see what we get. Um, medical gun might be good. I do like that. This one is engineering as well. So, uh, I'm going to take this and I'll lock this so we can get it next time. Yeah, these basic enemies, they basically can't get anywhere near us. These quick ones might do better. Oh. Yeah, let's do a little pick up now. Harvesting, really engineering. Yeah, we'll take that. I know it's it's only a basic one, not a blue one, but we're still on wave three, so it's not too bad. Um. Yeah, we're going to take this. Yeah, I'm actually going to take that. I might regret it, but... Damn. As soon as the projectile ones come in, you need to be moving, really. Two levels, that's not bad. Hmm, might re-roll those. Again. HP, oh, well, I'll, take, I'll take that. And now we've got, oh, three engineering, yeah, we'll take that. So engineering is 23 now. So that's how much extra damage our turrets are doing. Um, yeah, maybe boost HP a little bit. I might get the medical scissors too. Let's leave it at that for now. Ah, great. 
Turret, 100% take. Uh, Reroll? Mm. Oh, he's a rubbish. Alright, let's take an HP regen. Do the turrets do elemental damage at all, or is it just... Yeah, it's just the engineering stat, isn't it? I'm going to turn it into a blue. Mm, let's try reroll. I might take another one of those. Now let's take a taser as well. That, that might help slow enemies a bit. <clears throat> so you can already see about the turrets sort of grouping closer together, which is quite nice. Make sort of a little, little bit of a base in a bit of the map. We kind of hang around and so on. I don't know if the medical turrets are affected by the engineering stat. The heal more, the higher it is, perhaps. Might be good to find out. Max HP, well, let's take that. Um, I don't know about any of those. So this is probably pretty good, because we are fairly rooted. I should take that. Uh, I won't re-roll. Let's save our money. We're still okay for now. I'd really like to start upgrading some of these wrenches and stuff, though. I think the, net, the third tier turret is a, a laser turret, and then the final turret is uh, like a missile turret, which is quite good. Now these basic bullet turrets, they're okay, but we want to we want to get to rocket turrets really. Kind of get crates. Where are the trees at? There's some over here. seeing how it would be. Uh, attack speed or health or dodge. I think I'm going to go dodge. Hmm. I, do th I think I do need a purple weapon, but Explosion damage is interesting because we should be getting to missile turrets eventually and it will be good for that. Right, I'll get that. I'm not sure about it. Well, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll get the regen. Good. Engineering, 100%. Purple dodge is tempting. Do it. More harvesting, fewer enemies. Well, I think that's a good move.
laser turret. Unfortunately, it's too expensive, but we'll we'll save it for next time. Let's lock that in, and we'll uh, maybe buff our damage with that one. It's not really a viable tactic anymore with those big guys charging in. Okay, coffee attack speed over damage. that was engineering. I'm going to have to do this. No, all right, I'll take the HP. Laser turret, here we go. Oh, my, I think I've got to, I think I've got to boost my defenses. Risk a reroll. I mean, the one hit that negates could be the difference between living and dying, so maybe I will take that. Yeah. Okay. I never usually take that, but it really could it might it might be a lifesaver, I don't know. Nullified. There we go, we've already nullified that. That's it for this wave. Range luck. Let's use HP out of those. I think the range damage again. I want it. Oh, engineering. Yeah, we'll take that. Purple thief dagger. Eh? Just lock that and re roll. Because if I re roll a blue thief dagger, I'll take the turret. I'll take the landmines. Yeah, they do engineering damage. That's good. So I think what I'll do then is sell this one and I'll buy that one. Plus 10 engineering. Ooh, yes please. And I'll take the incendiary turret in the meantime. Get through this round. Got loads of, <laughs> quite a few turrets now. What I want to be doing is getting, getting the uh, rocket turrets from the wrenches I'm holding. I really haven't seen any more wrenches to upgrade with, though. I'm just going to sort of orbit my turrets, I think, because like, standing still isn't really an option anymore. Oh, it's two breaks. We can get a level as well, that'd be a nice little pull. Sort of nullified thing come up there. Oh no, it's time to get lots of projectiles. Face tank them every single time. Didn't get the level. Very nearly. Okay, trees in one hit, that's fine. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll take that. 
Ooh, flaming brass knuckles. I think I can get... No, I can't, can I? I can't quite get both of those, but maybe if I sell something... I might sell the taser now. Well, we definitely want the diploma. I can't get that. We'll probably lock it in, though. Uh, for next time. I might take that. Looking at the character model thing very strange now. I mean, we level so so early, we'll hopefully get a second level on this way. Getting that diploma should be good because that's, that's, our engineering stats should be pretty high now. It's kind of a shame that nullify thing happens so early in a wave. I kind of want it at the end when it just gets it's crazy and I can't I'm taking damage because I can't really see what's happening. Getting towards another level. I don't know if we'll get there. Damage, I suppose. I suppose we'll do that. Flamethrower. I would quite like that as well. I might get rid of the thief knife. I don't know. I don't know how good that is. We'll take the knuckles and the flamethrower. I think. I don't have any life steal, so let's get some HP regen for Tother. Um, we could even get some life steal back. <laughs> I think we ended up ahead for on that deal. I start charging in it. Them are the projectiles, I think, of my, my veins. I'm not going to get to a second level on this one, unfortunately. Uh, no. Dodge, I think, we'll take there. Ooh, purple flamethrower, don't mind if I do. Might lock that for later. A screwdriver, that's for landmines, isn't it? I want more wrenches, I want to get my wrenches upgraded. Let's try another re-roll. Ooh, I can nearly afford that. Um... How much can I sell that for? I can sell that and maybe get the shredder gun. Oh, I couldn't quite do it. I really want the shredder gun for the next wave. Might lose a basic turret then. I'll take that. I'll lock that in as well. With so many turrets, I can kind of let them do the work in terms of getting rid of the little uh, projectile guys. Get my stealth to the one. Actually, I've done alright on the 
this wave, considering it's, my, it's the dreaded wave 14. Only the one level go, though. Uh, I take the dodge, I think. So we'll take that. I think I'm going to unlock that. Although it's good for standing still, isn't it? Well, I want to reroll. I want to see if I get more wrenches. It's just not happening, is it? What have we got here? That would be good taken early, but at this point it's... yeah. I'm going to roll again, see if I can get a wrench. I'll lock that in, though, for next time, because it's got the three engineering plus some other stuff. It does lose six dodge, though, is the only thing. Alright, let's see how we go on with this. I haven't been able to upgrade our medical gun, either. We've been quite unlucky with the wrenches. I had, I had two red wrenches the last time I did an engineer. We're doing all right at the moment. Glass cannon. Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> Two engineering. Yeah, I want to boost engineering as much as I can. Mm, I guess damage. Kind of chickened out of that one a bit. this one though. Come on, get a wrench and send you to rail. Fine, I'll take another one of those. <laughs> Roll again, do I get anything I want? Mm. No, not really. It's wave 16 now and I'm just feeling like my turrets are... Uh, considering I've only got one laser turret, it's, it's a bit worrying. I've got so many turrets doing quite reasonable damage is, is definitely helpful. Stuff like that's going on, I just I literally can't process the information quick enough. Uh. No, 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 it's sitting on me, it's killing me. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Ah, oh, it's those big horned ones. I felt like we were quite unlucky there in terms of getting a wrench. I mean, to be an engineer run and wave 16 and only have one blue wrench to your name is, is a bit sad. But did make, I was able to buy a, a, a good few at least. Um, but yeah, no, I'm still, it's enjoyable. It, it is enjoyable, even if um, yeah, I'm not the best at it. But there we go. That is Brotato. I might come back and play more on the channel once it's in full release. I probably won't do any more early access videos. But um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you have, then um, please do hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game, my runs, and where I'm going wrong. <laughs> any tips you have would be great because I, 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 I've very limited success with it so far. Um, and subscribe to the channel as well if you've not done so before because that's always appreciated. And I'll just say I hope to see you elsewhere on Boring Dead Gaming. So bye for now and see you next time.